So here's the consequences of when I get lazy and stop making new pack-up videos. As you can see I've got a bit of a backlog going on here and I don't think I've made a pick-up video this year so these games are going to be ones that I've kind of accumulated over the last four to five months and usually when I get a new game what I do is I throw it in a separate pile and then it'll eventually get cleaned up and I'll maybe do a video on it and then it'll get added into the, the main collection. The main collection is actually behind there, these aren't all new games or anything like that but yeah that's usually what I do but I've just been really lazy and not been cleaning them or making videos or anything like that on them so I thought I, I should probably do it now and get it over with and show you some of the the games I've picked up here. I've got quite a lot um, I'm sure a lot of you know, a lot of you in the UK will know anyway but um, Game and Game Station which are basically the the main video game retailer in the the UK. They're both two different shops but owned by the same company. They basically went out of business um, in the last couple of months there and before they went into administration they had like a, a fire sale so they really reduced all their, their games to stupidly low prices which I took full advantage of so games at like 98 pence and whatever. So a lot of these are going to be games I picked up in their, their fire sale I've got a lot of 360 games, I've got some uh, Dreamcast games, some Saturn games, DS games, uh, I've also picked up some 3DS games, I don't have a 3DS yet but um, I'll get to that in just a minute, some of these games were, were so cheap I just couldn't not buy them. i um, got a couple of Master System games, Mega Drive, and a couple of new systems as well, so a lot of you have seen one of these before, it's the Sega Vision, which is a, a Sega media player and I'll probably do a separate video on that at some point, but yeah, I've got that as well but this video could end up being a, a little longer than usual, we'll try and keep it as short as possible and just maybe just give you an overview of some of the, the better bargains that I've picked up uh, but yeah, this is going to be a probably quite a long, medium to long uh, pick up video so just be warned. So instead of going through every single game that I've picked up over the last four or five months I think what I'll do is I'll just show you the, the best deals and some of the more interesting titles that I've picked up. I think if I went through every single game it probably bore the crap out of most people and it would take forever as well so yeah what I'll do is I'll just show you the, the kind of best bits. So I'll start off and show you this system I've got here and I got this on eBay, I paid a grand total of £50 for it, it came with some games as well and £50 is quite a lot for a Master System but the reason I paid a little extra for it was because it actually came with this here and it's the 3D adapter for the, the 3D glasses and the other interesting thing about this system is it actually has a 3D game built in which is kind of a rare thing to find on the, the early Master System so yeah, I've paid 50 quid for this and the other thing I learned recently is that you can actually use modern uh, LCD shutter 3D glasses with the Master System. So you can go on eBay and just buy a generic pair of uh, 3D glasses and as long as they've got the correct uh, connection and their LCD shutter type then you can actually use them with the, the Master System. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I do already have a, a master system there so what I'll probably end up doing with this one is uh, giving it a good clean and possibly keeping this one or either that one there and selling one of them on but as you can see here it's actually still got the, the plastic uh, kind of shrink wrap stuff that you get on a, a new console there covering the, the front panel uh, so yeah I might keep this one, it's got the missile defense game I think it is built in which is kind of uh, a rare thing to find on a master system I also came with this light phaser here it's a bit grubby, need cleaned up came with the cables and a pretty beaten up master system control pad as well and the cables are all manky and it's needing a good clean you can see there looks like a, a rat or something's chewed through that but yeah, what I'll do is I'll probably end up cleaning this up and selling one of them on because I don't need two of them. The games that came with, um, I don't know if I'll keep many of these. I think I'll keep the, the Sonic ones. There's Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. They're complete in the box and everything, but the rest of them are all a bit... They're looking a bit um, worn out and 
I think most of them are missing the, the manual as well, so I'll probably just bundle them off with the the console when I, I sell it. But yeah, that was the system I bought there. I also got another system which was the uh, Game Boy Advance SP. This is actually faulty. You can see it's got a, a broken screen. And I paid 6 50 for this. And the reason I bought this was to repair my own SP. I don't know if anyone remember, but I did a video a while back about changing the, the shell on that. And the buttons on mine, the shoulder buttons, were a little unresponsive. So I gave them a clean, and that worked for a bit, but they've kind of gone back to being a little uh, unresponsive again. So basically just bought this for parts. And yeah, I'll just strip this apart and take the little uh, shoulder buttons out of that and put them in my own. But that's the, the main console I got there. Mainly just bought the the master system for this thing here. And uh, it just plugs into the, the front of your, your system like that. For anyone that's not familiar with the the Model 1 master system, that's where you, you put your games and stuff in. Like that. So moving on to some of the games I picked up, and probably the best deal that I got from the game and Game Station Fire Sale was this, and it's the Space Marine Collector's Edition, and this is the PlayStation 3 version, and ideally I'd have liked to have got the, the Xbox version, but for the price I paid, I really cannot complain. This thing is huge, it's meant to be like a, a big book, I'll just take out the slip cover here. So it comes in this really heavy duty uh, cardboard slip cover and inside you've got the uh, I suppose like the, it's meant to look like a book you can see there uh, inside that you've got this thing which is like a a wax seal I think that's from the game um, and I think it's also like a, a magnet I think you could put that in your fridge if you really wanted to uh, under there you've got the, the soundtrack comes with that and you've also got an art book and you get the game the PlayStation 3 version like I said that's still sealed I've already played most of this on the 360 um, and ideally that's what the the version I'd like to have got but when you hear the price I paid for this you'll understand why I'm not too bothered get some cards with it as well but yeah, all of that cost me a grand total of £1.98, which works out to be, what, like three US dollars, if that puts it in perspective. So yeah, really happy to get a, a copy of that for basically two quid, really no money at all. So that's probably the best deal that I picked up recently. I mean, that's a huge collector's edition. Uh, for only two quid and I could probably even just sell the game that's inside that on its own for about seven pounds and make more than my two quid back and then some but yeah that was probably the best deal that I've picked up so far I've got another few that I, I was uh, pretty happy about but that was the main one considering it's a game I've been after for quite a while as well so some of the retro games that I picked up were for the Dreamcast, the Saturn and the original PlayStation. And these weren't particularly good deals or anything, but they'd been either recommended to me by fellow YouTubers or were just games I wanted to add to the collection, so I picked them up. And the first one here is Sword of the Berserk, Guts Rage. And it was actually fellow YouTuber Spin the Demon that recommended this. He did a, a bit of a gameplay video on it, so I went ahead and bought it. It's uh, more or less just like a, a third person hack and slash action game. It's pretty gory. It doesn't last that long. I think it's about five hours or so. And yeah, lots of fun. So I got that. The next one I got here was Sonic Shuffle, again for the, the Dreamcast. And this is quite a, an expensive game to buy in the, uh, the UK, or the PAL version anyway. So I saw this one on eBay for, I think it was about five pounds. Uh, buy it now, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So I went ahead and bought that. It's like a, a Mario uh, party type of game for the uh, the Dreamcast, so that's kind of cool. Next one I got here was Tech Romancer for the Dreamcast. This is a game by Capcom. It's meant to be pretty good. I wasn't too impressed with it, to be honest. I didn't really like the... It's like a, a fighting game, basically, but 
I kind of felt the controls were a bit unresponsive and it wasn't that great fun to play so a wee bit disappointed with that one. I think I paid about 10 quid for that as well. The next one I got here was Psychic Force 2012 and I think this was just really cheap and I ended up buying it but again it's a, another fighting game. The AI in this is terrible so you can basically get through the entire game just mashing the one button, you don't even need to move the d-pad or anything and then you get to the final boss and he just kills you <laughs> instantly so yeah a bit of an unbalanced game and again a little bit disappointed with that one but whatever. So the next one is King of Fighters 95 for the Saturn and I was a bit annoyed with this. The seller sent it in a jiffy bag and obviously it's a cardboard box. What happens when you send a cardboard box and a jiffy bag in the mail? It gets completely squashed. So yeah, I was a bit annoyed about that. Only paid about, I think it's five quid and then two quid postage. So not a huge loss. And the, the game inside is in pretty much mint condition. That's it there. It also came with the, the cartridge. You plug that into the back. You need this cartridge to play the game. You plug it into the back of your, your Saturn. But I really like the, the artwork in that, I think it looks really good. So it came with the, the cartridge there, and obviously you get your, your disc as well. And it came with the manual. So that was only well, it was only about seven quid. I was annoyed that the, the box was squashed like that, but that ends up happening when you buy things on eBay. The next one I got here was another game that was recommended by a, a fellow YouTuber. I'm going to probably butcher his name here. I think it's Lebosu77. I'm sure plenty of you know, plenty of you know who he is. But yeah, I'll maybe leave a link to the the gameplay video he did of this game. It's a really funny game. It's probably one of the funniest games I've I've ever played, and that's Skull Monkeys for the the PlayStation One. It's quite a desirable game, so you'll end up paying a little extra for it. I think I paid about ten pounds for this one. Uh, the game's actually still on the the PlayStation at the moment. But yeah, came complete and I'm having a, a lot of fun playing through this. It's a, I don't know if you can see that there, it's a claymation <laughs> uh, type of side-scrolling platformer game. It's pretty unique and the soundtrack and the, the storyline and everything to it is really funny. So I highly recommend picking this game up if you can, if you find it for cheap. If you just find it, it's, it's a good game to get. So yeah, check this one out. Okay, so back to some of the bargain pickups I got from the, the game and Game Station fire sale. And I don't know if a lot of people realised, but at the same time they were having the fire sale in the shops, they were also having the fire sale online as well. So some of the games you could get online were dirt, dirt cheap and they weren't second hand or anything, they were brand new sealed games. So I went ahead and bought a whole bunch of 3DS games. I've actually sold quite a few games that I picked up because I really have no interest in playing them. But the price they were they were charging, I just couldn't resist picking them up. I really want to get a 3DS at some point, so I thought, well, I might as well pick up some of the games for them now. But the first one I got here was uh, Michael Jackson, uh, the Experience 3D. And uh, yeah, this is brand new, sealed, never opened. I paid a grand total of £1.98 for this, uh, delivered from their website. Brand new, sealed. And it's basically the same for, for the rest of these games here, apart from two, which I paid a little extra for. So I got this as well, Rex. Uh, again, brand new, sealed, never opened, two quid. Frogger 3D, and I'm probably going to sell this one, to be honest. It's brand new, sealed, but this goes for like, uh, I was looking on eBay the other day, and this sells for around 18 to £20 pounds in this new and sealed condition. So, I mean... Do I really want to play Frogger 3D that much, or would I rather have 20 quid in my wallet? <laughs> Next one here is Happy Feet 2. Again, this was brand new and sealed when I got it. And I was just, I'd never seen a, a 3DS game before, so I was curious, so I opened this one up. But again, I'll probably end up selling this one on, because I think it goes for around 12 to 15 quid on eBay. So it's a, a nice little bit of extra change there. Um, this one is probably the main reason I want to buy a, a 3DS. Uh, there are a couple of other games as well, but this is Dead or Alive Dimensions, and I paid um, 13 pounds for this, so it wasn't exactly a, a great deal or anything. But it's a game I really want to play, so I picked that up. 
also got this here, this is Street Fighter 3D and I paid 4 99 for this I think from their website and uh, yeah this is this was uh, used but it's in pretty much mint condition so I'm not too bothered about that it's another game I really want to play and that's probably one of the reasons I'll end up picking up a, a 3DS the other games I got were just for the, the DS and this one is uh, probably the best game I've ever played on the DS this is Contra 4 and if you've never played um, a Contra game well you really should, but this is probably the best version of Contra I've ever played. It makes really good use of the the dual screens on the, the DS. And this wasn't released in the UK, as far as I know, or Europe. So I had to get this one. Uh, I didn't get it imported, but it was obviously imported by uh, the eBay that was selling them. And he was charging 16 quid for this. It was brand new and sealed when I got it. But I was quite happy to pay that for it. Really good game. And yes, I could have just downloaded it and put it on my R4 um, flash cart, but I've kind of been wanting to buy some of the, the better games for the, the DS recently. And if I do get a, a 3DS, I can always play them on that as well, so that'd be cool. Another really good game I got here was Aliens Infestation. And it's like an old school platform game um, based on the, the Aliens franchise. Again, excellent excellent game if you have a DS and you're an alien fan you definitely need to pick this one up I paid about ten pounds from this on this one from Amazon and again well worth the money uh, because it's brand new and sealed when I got it and the other game I got here was Thor and this is an excellent game as well it's made by the same people that made both aliens and uh, Contra I think it's way forward is the developer, but they make some really nice uh, side-scrolling 2D platform old-school type games so yeah pick this one up and again it's a, a very good game it's probably not as good as Aliens or Contra 4 but it is still excellent and well worth picking up it's completely different from all the other versions of Thor um, a lot of them I think you get the version the Wii and the Xbox where pretty crappy movie tie-in type titles but this one is actually a, a really nice old school uh, side-scrolling uh, I suppose it's like a golden axe type of beat-em-up type of game but uh, the, it's very nice looking game very well done so yeah those are the, the DS games I picked up there so I'll quickly run through some of the 360 games I picked up and again some of these are from the game and game station fire sale and some are from other stores as well but most of them are pretty good deals the best one I got here was Bullet Storm, and this is a brand new sealed copy of the game I got this from uh, eBay for free eBay were doing this voucher promotion where you got £5 off your next purchase so <laughs> I went online found this copy of Bullet Storm. For four ninety nine, buy it now, free postage. So I got that completely free, which was excellent. You can't complain at getting a free game. I still to try this out, but from what I've heard, it's it's pretty good. It's not the best, but it's worth picking up for free anyway. I got Child of Eden. This is brand new, sealed. I paid five pounds for this total. They've really reduced this uh, recently. I think Amazon were doing it for five pounds, and I got this from Asda, which is a supermarket here in the UK. I got Rango. Um, this is meant to be a it's kind of like a kids game I suppose but it's it's meant to be a lot of fun and, and really well done so I was interested to pick this one up. I think I paid about £10 for this on eBay so not the best deal but it's a game I, I want to play so I ended up picking it up and I've still to play it but I'll get around to that soon. This is a really good deal I got from um, Game Station I think it was maybe it was Game. I think it was Game it looks like a game sticker on it but this was only 2 99 and it's the Lost Planet special edition or uh, steelbook and it basically comes with everything there all the discs, all the, it even has the DLC and everything in the art book and it's all in there uh, for 2 99 so I couldn't really resist picking that one up I've played the game before, didn't really like it that much but maybe I'll have another go at it I thought the game was too difficult so I just stopped playing it 
uh, but that was a couple of years ago now. Maybe it's maybe I'm a bit better than that now. Uh, yeah, the next game here is Dodon Patchy Resurrection, which is a, a red was a Rising Star Games. It's basically a, a shooter by Cave Bullet Hell Shooter, um, and I paid two ninety eight for that. And it's a special edition, so it has. Uh, the two discs has the soundtrack and everything in there, so couldn't really turn that one down. Uh, Deus Ex for five pounds used from HMV. Again, still to play this. It's meant to be a really good game. But for five pounds, you can't really turn that down. This one here was only two ninety eight from the Game Station website. I think it was. This is El Shad Shaddai. I don't really know how you pronounce that. El Shaddai. Um, but this game I actually bought as one of the games I was going to just like sell on and make a little money on it. But I got it delivered. Uh, it looked brand new when I got it. Usually it sells for about 12 to £14 second hand. Um, tried it out and really enjoyed it, so I'm probably just going to keep this one. It's a kind of a hack and slash adventure game, and it's probably one of the, the most bizarre or most colourful, unique looking games I've ever played on the, the 360. Well worth checking out if you if you find a copy. Um, so far I'm halfway through the game and I'm really enjoying it, so yeah, probably just going to keep that. Near, uh, again, 2 99 from the, the Game Station sale. There was a game, that's a game sticker. I do have this, or had it for the, the PlayStation 3, but I've decided I'm just going to sell off most of my PlayStation 3 games because I never play the, the system. The only games I'm going to keep for it are the likes of the, the first party um, exclusives like your Little Big Planet and Heavy Rain and those kind of games. The rest of them I've just been selling off and I would just buy them again for the, the 360. So I got Nier, which isn't. Uh, an RPG type of game. Again, I sold my copies of DJ Hero for the PlayStation 3 and I bought them on the, the Xbox here, so 2 98 and 98 pence, really good deal. Sega Rally, I bought that from Amazon just the other day. Um, it's a lot of fun, I paid about £4 for that from Amazon, I think I said that. Um, Halo 3 ODST, 1 98 I think I played through this game already, but I couldn't really resist at two quid. This is a game I really want to play. This is Overlord for the PlayStation, uh, PlayStation, the Xbox 360, and it's meant to be like a an action RPG. But instead of playing the good guy, you play the, the bad guy here, and you basically have your your minions, and you go around uh, the land creating havoc and destruction so I thought that sounded kind of good fun so picked it up for 2 98 Dead or Alive 4, I've spoken about this game before I think I showed it in one of my previous videos but I paid 99 pence for this um, the AI is broken in this game so it kind of ruins it Colin McRae Dart 4 98 this is probably the best rally game on the, the 360 I think and it's the last uh, Colin McRae game um, well, the last one to, to have his name in the title anyway. It's got a bit of a tribute to, to Colin McRae in the uh, the game, so I had to pick that up. One of my favourite games. And Band Hero <laughs> as well. I really like some of the, the tracks on this for playing the drums too. There's some kind of pop songs you probably usually wouldn't play, or usually I wouldn't listen to, but they're a lot of fun to, to play drums to. So yeah, pick this up for 98 pence. So that's all my 360 games. Probably getting really long in time here. So I'll quickly show you some of the the original Xbox games I got here as well. So these ones were bought maybe three months ago now. These were bought before the, the whole game and game station thing kicked off and they went out of business. But these were all 49 pence each. So I got the Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay which is meant to be a, a very good game. I think there was a remake for this on the 360, or at least a, an HD uh, version of it. Halo 2, 49 pence, you can't really say no to that. I picked it up. Uh, Deus Ex, Invisible War, which is like the original uh, game there. Again, I think I paid about a pound for that. I don't think it was 50 pence, but 
I picked that up as well. Halo Combat Evolved, 49 pence. It's kind of a no-brainer. Futurama, 49 pence. Um, this is one of the more, I think it's meant to be quite a good game. It's one of the more harder to find, more desirable games on the, the system. So I picked that up. It's complete and everything. Um, not played it yet, but it, it looks kind of interesting. I'll maybe get around to, to playing that at some point. Ghost Recon, Thunder Island. The Ghost Recon games are probably the main reason I picked up a, an original Xbox back in the day and the main reason I, I got Xbox Live. Um, one of my colleagues was, uh, he had an Xbox before me and he, he was always going on about how good the, the Ghost Recon games were to play online and everything. So I eventually ended up getting uh, a con uh, well, an Xbox and a copy of Summit Strike, I think it was. But these are these are really really good games. Um, obviously, you can't play them online anymore, which is a bit of a shame. But back in the day, these were much better than the likes of uh, your Call of Duties and stuff like that. It was a lot more uh, kind of tactics, and you had to speak with your teammates. It was a lot of fun to play online. Uh, this is the thing based on the movie. Again, forty nine pence. This is meant to be a good game, it's meant to be pretty difficult, but it looks kind of interesting. I don't know if I've ever played it, but for 49 pence I thought I should pick it up. And Wings of War for 49 pence. Again, this is like an arcade biplane shooter type of game. Um, I played a bit of that, I didn't think it was very good. Enclave, this is a third person action adventure RPG type game. I played about an hour of that, it was okay. I probably won't go back to it. 49 pence. This one's pretty good. It's Dungeons and Dragons Heroes. And yeah, this is your standard action RPG type of game. You can see it there. You're running around collecting things and leveling up and you've got your standard gauntlet type of characters to choose from there. It's quite good fun. I played about an hour of that as well. This one here is terrible. <laughs> I thought it would be a good laugh, but it's it's just rubbish. The gameplay is terrible. It's not funny. I thought it would at least be a bit funny, but it's not. The gameplay is horrible, and it's basically unplayable. It's not even worth 49 pence. Um, the Haunted Mansion. I think I paid about a pound for this. I can't remember. And it's like a, a third-person action game where you're running around in a, a haunted mansion and trying to escape I think if I remember correctly and Pariah again I think I paid about a pound for this it's basically a, a Halo clone and it's not very good from what I remember but there you go that's all my pack up oh, there's this as well I don't think I showed that it's Dark Kingdoms or Dark Kingdom which is an action RPG for the, the PS3 and that's probably one of the last games I'll buy for the, the PlayStation 3 unless there's something really spectacular released for the system. The only reason I have the PS3 now is just to use it as a Blu-ray player. So, yeah. But I saw that this game and it looked kind of interesting, so I picked it up. I think this was about £4. But there you go. <laughs> that's my probably ridiculously long pickups video now. Uh, complete. And, oh, yeah, this as well. So... Sega patch. <laughs> um, yeah, I got that on eBay. It was like two quid. But there you go, that's my pickup video now complete, and it's probably gone on for far too long. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.